Hi, Albert here with Mainland Cycle Center. Today I want to show you the 2018 Kawasaki Vulcan 1700 Voyager. Uh, 1700 Voyager. Uh, this bike is probably, I think, one of the best touring bike values on the market today. Uh, if you catch these, uh, when we have these on sale with a little bit of rebate money, uh, we've sold these, we've had these in the $13,000 price range, and that's easily half of what maybe a Harley or a Goldwing sells for. Now granted, this may not have all the features of a Honda Goldwing or a, uh, a Harley uh, Ultra, but uh, a really nice bike uh, to be riding around with an extra $13,000 in your back pocket on a Kawasaki Voyager. These bikes really, really do what they do well. They've been very good quality bikes. They're nice riding bikes. 1700cc V-twin, liquid cooled, fuel injected. Uh, these have a six-speed transmission. One of the things that's interesting about the six-speed on these is that it is an overdrive transmission. Actually, fifth and sixth gears on these are, uh, are overdrives. And so, uh, you can see there it says six speed on the case and so on this bike you really want to make sure that when you're riding one of these that uh, if you're uh, if you're test driving one or something like that don't shift into six gear too soon almost not almost you don't need six gear to get over 70 miles an hour on these for sure in the neighborhood of 65 but uh, one of the mistakes and we let people test drive these is I, if I forget to tell them that they'll come back and they really won't like the bike because they're riding in sixth gear at 55 or 60 miles an hour and the bike's lugging. You're just in too tall of a gear. And so I'll say, hey, go ride it again and this time don't shift it to six because fifth gear is an overdrive ratio as well. And so uh, they'll come back and say, yep, makes all the difference. So the nice thing about that is that you can be riding in sixth gear at 90 miles an hour and the RPMs are at 80 miles an hour and the RPMs are still nice and low. So, uh, Love the six gear on these. Nice LED tail light, LEDs in the trunk here. Nice big trunk with the wrap around backrest. Uh, top opening saddlebags there. Has air shocks on the back. These bags are really easy to remove, just two bolts. We'll pop these bags right off. So not that you're gonna ride without them, but for maintenance and cleaning, makes it really easy. Also, this has air shocks on the back. So there's a little air valve here. You can put air in those rear shocks. Got driver and passenger floorboards there. Got uh, these lower fairings that open and close the vents there. Very nice. Uh, one of the things that Kawasaki has done on these from the early Voyagers, there were some complaints about heat on the early Voyagers, and uh, so Kawasaki has came up with what they called CAMS, or Kawasaki Air Management System. So when we look in here, it's a little hard to see, but you can, there's, they enclosed a lot of this between the radiator and the motor. So they're making that hot air now go underneath the motor and out, as opposed to coming around and getting on you. Even here, there's a little duct with an electric fan on that side. And so that little duct, if I can get a little focus there, that little duct right there draws hot air away from this exhaust and down low, and that fan kicks on when the radiator fan comes on. So that's a pretty cool feature on these as well. These are equipped with ABS, anti-lock brakes, and Kawasaki's K-Act system. And so K-Act is an active braking system where it's kind of like a linked brake on some bikes, but I think a little better on the Kawasaki bike. If you apply either one of the brakes, the front or the rear, uh, you'll apply braking to, uh, to both front and rear discs. And uh, it does that on a speed sensitive basis. So uh, depending on how fast you're going and when you hit those brakes, uh, it'll change. And then below, I think it's about 18 miles an hour, the brakes are completely separate again. So uh, for that low speed maneuvering, the front brake's the front brake and the rear brake is the rear brake. Uh, there's your radiator there. Comes standard with the fog lights and the fairing. Nice feature, nice tall windshield. Let's see if we can pan up and catch that, there we go. Uh, beautiful paint. Kawasaki's fit and finish is uh, right up there with anybody. Uh, the Kawasaki really builds a nice bike. Uh, the seat on these bikes is really great. I really, uh, no problem spending all day in these seats. Uh, you wouldn't have to just run out and buy a replacement seat for this bike. This, the seat on these is, is pretty nice. 
uh, instrumentation on this when Kawasaki designed these they really kind of had a 60s muscle car in mind and I think they really captured that pretty well with these round gauges with the chrome bezels uh, fuel gauge here speedometer tachometer and then coolant temp there and then you've got a digital readout here gear position indicator uh, speedometer uh, not speedometer but odometer trip meters and then fuel economy and you've got some warning lights and things that show up down here and then these do have an audio system so it does have an audio system on it so uh, AM FM radio weather band auxiliary input uh, you can also buy a satellite radio kit for it two speakers there in the dash See if we can hand down and catch that for you so two speakers there in the dash as well as there's your ignition switch so what's cool about the ignition switch on these is you can put your key in turn the bike on and then take your key out once the bike is in the on position put the key in your pocket and you won't rattle or scratch on the dash here we won't mar that up and then when you get ready to stop you just turn it off and uh, you don't need your key to turn it off just to turn it back on again locking gas cap these do require premium full fuel so 90 plus octane fuel there's a 12 volt power outlet here on the dash and a uh, little switch for the fog lights is right there uh, these are equipped with electronic cruise control so electronic cruise control it's getting a little dark on me out here today I've been taking pictures for the last few hours but uh, so we'll try to squeeze this last video in today but uh, I think the camera is going to focus for us but uh, electronic cruise control this switch will toggle the dash the odometer trip meter uh, hazard light your start button engine kill and then over here you got some audio control buttons there so tuning volume uh, the squelch if you add the CB option which is an option you can add the CB and uh, and then uh, horn button and high and low beam uh, really nice looking controls chrome uh, caps on those uh, there is a rear speaker audio kit on these and I would recommend that uh, these also have the built-in intercom built into the audio system on them so if you want to uh, add intercom and audio in your helmets you can do that you just it's kind of built into the radio already you just need to buy the headsets and uh, add the uh, the harness to do them and then to auxiliary input there's a little kit you buy for that as well but uh, really great bike like I said six speed belt drive fuel injected uh, 1700 cc class V twin motor these have uh, uh, hydraulic valve lash adjuster so there's no valve clearance adjustments to do and then these come standard with a three-year warranty from Kawasaki so three years unlimited miles and then you can add an additional three years and it's not very expensive I think it's less than seven hundred dollars to add an additional three years so you can get a total of six years unlimited warranty and that's Kawasaki warranty not a third party so if you're looking at one of these don't forget to get that extended warranty it's a great great value on this bike especially with ABS and all of the components that has uh, these are very good bikes in Kawasaki's betting you won't have a problem but uh, I think it's very cheap and inexpensive and uh, if I was buying one of these I would buy the extended warranty in a heartbeat so don't forget about that if you're getting one of these all right well that's a look at the 2018 Kawasaki Vulcan 1700 Voyager uh, like I said, once again, we are Mainland Cycle Center. Uh, we're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at MainlandCycleCenter.com or by phone at 409-948-4969. And we would just love it if you'd give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, get on down here to Mainland Cycle Center, where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.